Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of a funny one. This is actually less, we're less criticizing mode. It's like no criticizing today. Barely any criticizing. Just fun. Just fun. Fun, good time for the whole family. Okay, have you guys seen this guy? Dan Henschel? Dan Henschel. I still feel like I'm not saying that right. This guy's funny as shit. He's great. Basically like a Nathan for you. That's what everyone's saying. Like a Nathan for you type TikTok guy. Here's my idea is that we create a tier list for this guy's TikTok page. Now, why would we do that? Well, what Dan Henschel does in his TikToks is he basically gives life advice, but in the most extreme, weird, funny ways. It's like stuff that you wouldn't actually do, but it's pretty funny. And I think how we should rate them is on a scale of sometimes I think actually useful and other times probably counterintuitive to what you want to achieve. I'll show you one first to kind of show you what I mean. How to make somebody jealous. This is a random one. I got no idea. Google pictures of nightclubs where people are making eye contact with you and use your phone to post pictures of the pictures. Add fake motion blur so they look real. So real talk, kind of a great idea. <laughs> if you are the type of person that kind of wants to show off, but you're not going out. I mean, look at us. What are we doing on a Friday night right now, guys? I mean, we're watching me. This actually, this one could benefit all of us here right now. So for example, I might put this A tier. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a tier list and we'll try to do it correctly and then we're gonna go down and put them in let's make it let's make a template right maybe i should have figured this one out before go <laughs> god so one super good advice two actually useful three basic four counterintuitive five dog shit six fucking bad shit crazy oh this is a big one damn 12.5 million get out of any phone call get out of any phone call with this one trick oh my god Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. Oh, wow. Brutal car crash. Absolutely brutal car crash. But you know what? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call him back after that. I'll, I'll be calling. I'll be calling other people. Get out of any phone call hack. All right. Uh, this one's a little, a little bit over the top, but okay. Start poll. That was so long. <laughs> it was like 20 seconds. <laughs> Super good advice. Whoa. Dominating the charts. Oh, betcha. Crazy's catching up. I mean, if we were to say in real life, if someone was to do this, I mean, there's no way. You, you would just wouldn't believe them. You just wouldn't believe them. All right. We're doing our first super good advice. If anyone was to actually use this one, it's fucking batshit crazy. But okay. You guys spoke your truth and I'll, and I'll listen to it. Get rid of anxiety. I struggle with anxiety from time to time. I'm sure several of you guys do too. Let's figure out this, the secret, how to get out of it. It is possible to train yourself to build a time tolerance to anxiety using my anxiety training podcast. Each episode is an hour of complete silence except for a handful of loud noises. It's designed so you can forget it's even playing and it trains your anxiety every day like a muscle. Sniper assassin shot doesn't even scare you. A lot of time is going to be wasted where you could have been listening to music and podcasts and audiobooks, but anxiety might be cured. If someone is trying to shoot you, what do we think about this one? Rank it, start poll. This one's a time waster, but would it get rid of anxiety or would you grow numb to the sound of bullet shots? Or would it even work? Would you, would maybe you would always just still jump? Would your body even, would you even? Or maybe you would know exactly in the hour long when the bullet's going off anyways. Oh, dog shit. Dog shit's pulling ahead. You guys think this is dog shit? <laughs> dog shit doesn't mean the TikTok's dog shit, by the way. We all agree this is all very funny stuff. I think this guy's super creative. It, it just means that it's actually dog shit advice and no one should ever do it. All right, we're going with dog shit on this one. You guys are scared to confront your problems. That's what it is. Most of you guys have anxiety and you're scared to confront it. You're the issue. Get rid of anxiety, adding it to the dog shit. Show me another one. Okay, how to tell if someone is lying over text. To find out if someone over text is lying, you can give them your very own lie detector test. First, ask them a simple question you know they'll answer truthfully. Then ask them a question you know they would lie about. Now you have an example of the person's texting tells for both a truth and a lie so that when you ask them the real question, you can compare which one it is. This is, is kind of similar to our first one a little bit. Mm, kind of. Holds up. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
we're leaning towards fucking bad shit crazy again. I was leaning towards dog shit on this one. I think just most people, when they're using the exclamation points, it's not that they're lying, they're just trying to be nice. I, I think this one is dog shit in terms of it's not useful. You guys think fucking bad shit crazy? We'll put it down. All right, adding it to fucking bad shit crazy. It's our first bad shit crazy? Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. All right. Well, let's peruse. What are we thinking? Okay, here we go. We got a hack. Uh, that's what I want to see. I want to see more hacks. Always remember if you locked your door, hack. Okay, great. There's nothing worse than not being able to remember if you locked your door. Always keep a lit candle under your doorknob. It'll be hot to the touch and you'll remember the pain of locking it to leave. Okay. <laughs> to always remember to lock your door, you need to always have a candle under the locked doorknob. And if you have forgotten to do that step, then you had forgotten to lock your door. Okay. I follow. You guys first. You guys go first. He had one today. I'll play right after this of how to always stay present. And it was just put a rock in your shoe. You'll always be in pain. So you'll always remember to stay present and grounded. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think it's fucking bad shit crazy? Fair enough. I would agree with this one. I agree with you guys on this one. If you ever had company over, as soon as they come in, you put this whole situation behind them. That's gonna look a little weird. It'll look a little creepy that they just came in, you set up a chair with books and put a candle underneath the doorknob. Looks like a creative way to lock someone in your house too. Fucking bad shit crazy. Add it to the list. Does your partner actually love you? Does your partner actually love you? Hide a fake journal somewhere they will find it that starts out normal. Slowly throughout the journal, chronicle your dissent into insanity. Continue to act normal in regular life. See what they do. See what they do. See what they do. do. Kind of know where this one's going, but start poll. What do we think? This is the test true love. Would you want to go the rest of your life not knowing if your partner would still love you if you were fucking bad shit crazy? Who knows? Counterintuitive? Yeah, this might actually be the definition of counterintuitive because you kind of prove yourself as bad shit crazy. <laughs> well, it's our first counterintuitive, baby. Grab it, open it, copy it, paste it. Bars. How do you join a conversation with people you don't know? How do you join a conversation with people you don't know? For this, you're gonna need a duffel bag. Cut a hole in the bottom, turn it inside out, tape the hole from the inside. Fill it with conversation starters. I'm from Maryland. I'm hygienic. I'm artsy. I have IBS. Mentally ill. Healthy. Into the macabre. This covers a bunch of them. Coins attract attention. Walk up. You're looking for something in the bag. <laughs> Now you're the conversation. And as everybody helps you clean up, they discover everything about you. If you want to start a conversation with strangers in public, you should have a duffel bag with you with loaded with things about your personality. And then you have a hole already ready in the duffel bag. The duffel bag will open with all of your things. And when people pick them up, I'll just let him explain it again. Fuck it. <laughs> Great conversation starters. Let's be real. Great conversation starters. What do we think holds up? But here's where I'm going to say, I'm going to say it now. You guys are saying dog shit. I think it's counterintuitive because if you're so scared that you can't join a conversation, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't do this. <laughs> it's even scarier to do. Fuck. I gotta, I gotta pack my bag with all the things about me. And then I gotta, and then I gotta open the bag and join a conversation. I think this one's counterintuitive. Okay. We're ending on dog shit. All right. It's all right. Some of you guys just can't take it. You know, it's okay. Okay, here we go. If you're the only one who wants to go home when you're at a bar, I presume. The next time you're in a social situation and it seems like you're the only one who wants to leave, sit your phone down on the table and play a high frequency sound. This will make people physically compelled to leave the space they're in and they may never know there was a sound at all. <laughs> I like this one. I actually really want to try that. <laughs> I think that's wicked good, actually. It would be like, what's that noise? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the comments already said it. I tried this. They all just collectively started shouting, what's that noise? All right, either way, you guys think actually useful. I kind of agree. We're getting good now. We're getting good. This one looks like one I want to see. How to get more matches. I want more matches on the hinges and the TikToks or, and the Tinders. Let's figure it out. First thing you want to do is make the most attractive version of yourself in face app you can possibly make once you get a match with this remove one effect so let's take off my smooth skin now let's start slowly reducing my cheekbones until finally you have regular me and the person never noticed oh interesting <laughs> This guy is so wickedly creative. It's actually insane how consistent he is. It's like a new one every single day. His, his TikToks are just starting to be how, like, literally just gaslight people. Just make people think they're crazy without them realizing it. All right, polls up for this one. Is this actually useful advice? Super good advice so far. Damn. All right, we think this is super useful. I tend to agree. I mean, again, a lot of work, but, and, and it is catfishing, but it's only slight catfishing. It's very minor catfishing, and you end up with the real you. So, where you really live 
were you really ever lying? Yeah, probably at some point, but you know, bing bada boom. I still can't believe we put how to get out of any phone call as super good advice. The one where you play a minute of a very loud car crash. Okay, let us find another one. Drink more water hack. 9.6 million, okay, sheesh. Completely seal your phone in a Ziploc bag and poke a small hole using a fork. Take a large glass of water and sit in bed. Drop the Ziploc bag into the glass of water. Your only option will be to drink the entire glass as quickly as possible before it fills up with enough water to actually damage your phone. <laughs> your only option <laughs> is to chug the water. Dietitians have been trying for decades to get people to drink water and this is all we needed. You're right, Maple. All right, we're ending this one on a close one, but we're actually going dog shit. Dog shit's pulling ahead. Oh, wow. It is creative though. I will give points for creativity. Let's get some more. Um. Oh, I love this one. I, I hate that watch one's already seen, but I'm a fan of this guy. I've already seen so many. How to post on social media during times of social turmoil. <laughs> this is a picture that I really wanted to post it myself on my birthday, but I couldn't because it was when Roe v. Wade got overturned. It's really hard to find the right tone for your posts on social media in a world with so much pain and injustice. My solution <laughs> was to turn my birthday picture into an infographic. Not only did I help spread awareness for important information, I actually read what the information was because I had to make sure my picture looked good. I love this one so much. And we spread information. You have to read the infographic. Now it's your own post. He's right. I want to make sure I look good, so I need to make sure the information looks right. Right? I guess I might as well read it since it's there. I mean, no one wants to just be the person that posts a picture of themselves during social turmoil, as he puts it. But this way, you get away scot-free and spread the message. Ball's in your court now. All right, we're ending on super good advice. I influenced you a little bit. I mean, it's a, it's a great, it's a great idea. Oh, this one looks good. How to get someone to fall in love with you. I'm with it. This is definitely gonna be a gaslighty one, but let's see. We're gonna judge this one on if it works. Next time you're in their house, find any household product you can with a face on the label and replace it with your face. Because these products are so commonplace, they won't even notice, but they'll subconsciously start to associate your presence with their everyday life. Find any- Won't even notice. <laughs> uh, Dan. I'm not sure about that one, man. All right, the poll's up. <laughs> I'm not sure about won't even notice. I'm not sure it will make them like you more either. Uh, all right, so fucking bad shit. Let's say practicing good eye contact. I think I remember this one. Hi, could I get a uh, uh, pastrami, hot pastrami on sourdough with macaroni salad? Practice making good eye contact in real life. Every time you have to make a phone call, pull up YouTube videos of people staring at you. I miss you so much, baby. Hi. All right, so this is for the anxiety riddle people. Stare at a video of people staring at you while you talk. Maybe that would help me when I'm streaming. Maybe I should just have a third, I buy a third monitor just for a video of someone staring at me. That might spice things up. Super good advice. All right, super good advice for putting it down. I'll let you guys choose from these. Make someone not mad. Make someone not mad at you anymore. 11.3 million, holy shit, okay. If you think somebody's mad at you, hand them a cup that you've made sure will fall over as soon as they set it down. Make sure it spills all over a picture that you've previously told them is the only one you have of your dead grandmother. I think this picture is like the only thing I have of her. Let's have some cold brew. They'll feel so <laughs> bad and embarrassed about this that being mad at you will seem selfish to them and they'll drop it completely. That's one way. Yeah, again, I'm not gonna say anything. How is he making sure it's spilled? Oh, he's got coins weighted on it. <laughs> oh, no! No, Make sure it my picture of my dead grandma, the only picture of her that exists. Ah, I just told you about that. Oh man, oh, you guys think it's fucking bad shit crazy? Oh, I'm not with you, I love this one. Fucking bad shit crazy? Are you a psychopath? Are you a psychopath? This TikTok will show you if you're a psychopath. Here's a picture of a guy with a cheeseburger for a head eating his own head. Pretty funny, right? Well, hopefully it's not so funny now that you know he's doing it next to a sick person in the hospital. How about this one? This is a funny squirrel with its cheeks full of corn at a grave site next to two mourning parents. Last one, surely this is just a dog with its snoot stuck in a piece of bread. And you're right, it is. So it's okay to laugh at this picture if you think World War One trench warfare Shit. is funny. Oh, this TikTok will show you if you're a psychopath. Me, I Here's laughed. a picture of a guy. Oh, he got me. It's not even advice. <laughs> I don't think the trenches in World War Two are funny. I don't think that. Let's do one more. <laughs> How to be liked. All right, this is the last one. How to be liked. We all want to be liked. Let's figure it out. Anytime you're not talking, play the sound of swarming bees at a volume that's audible but blends into your surroundings. Only pause it when you're speaking because humans are instinctually afraid of 
of this sound. This will make anyone around you uncomfortable except when you're talking. They're not gonna ask you about the swarming bee sound effect that's being played. All right, I, I said it was the last one. It will be the last one. Start poll. Poll is coming in. The results are coming in. We're calculating the results. We're calculating, calculating, calculating. And... no. Oh! It's a close, it's a runoff, it's a runoff, somebody put a vote in, someone put a vote in. You can't, you're gonna fucking steal me here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Six. You guys are just fucking around now. You guys are clearly just fucking around. All right, all right. It's fucking batshit crazy. All right, hey, last one is fucking batshit crazy. Great, guys. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> Dan, your TikToks are great. Some of them are batshit insane. Now I'm gonna save my computer from exploding and quit Photoshop.